Guys, so today I'm buried six feet underground, and yeah, this is a torch I'm shining in your face right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna pause the video so I can mount the camera. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> this time I've actually got a little bit more free space because I've managed to <laughs> orientate all the stuff at the end so that it's not such a hassle. And yeah, so, this is where I'm going to be spending the next, like, t I don't know, like, two days in the in this coffin six feet underground. Now, if you don't, if in case you're wondering how I'm still breathing and how I'm still getting air, there's a ventilation system. This is kind, it's kind of like how Mr. Beast did it. He had a ventilation system, like an AC unit that run straight from above ground and all the way down to his coffin. That's the same here. You can actually feel it through the, coming through the vents holes. Yeah. This is kinda it's kinda weird. Yeah, and it's kinda hot in it. It's kinda hot in here. Hope no alarms go off. Because that's gonna suck. Yeah, so I'm right now buried underground. <laughs> in some coffin. And it's pretty annoying. Oh my god. There's a cat. Hold on, let me just fix the camera angle. There you go. So yeah, I'm currently just staying here. I'm probably gonna stay for like the next 24 hours. Oh my god. See what we do. Yeah, so basically be buried for the next very long time in this coffin. It's probably not gonna end well, but hi ho, should do. So that was light, this little torch thing. Just saying so you know, that that's not daylight; it's a torch. So yeah. Oh, where should I put the torch? Where should I put the torch? I don't know where I should put the torch. I think I should just put it here for now so I don't have to hold anything. So yeah, I'm basically just staying here for the next like two days. And yeah, I should be staying so it's let's see, it's Friday today, so I'd be staying here until Sunday. I'll be staying here all my weekend, and then first thing I do is I have to go back to school. Well, I hope. <coughs> oh my god, it's already like two minutes. I'm already feeling weird. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of nauseating. I actually kind of don't like. I actually kind of don't like it, Donna. Kind of terrible, but... I mean, hey -ho, at least it works. And not... Like... I mean, at least it's not a dungeon or anything. It's just... I mean, at least I'm going to be out in two days anyway. So, yeah, if it's Friday now... It would be Saturday when I get out. I mean, Sunday, sorry. So that be the day I get out of here. Uh, what is this? Is the stuffed animals like coffin? Oh my god. Yeah, guys. So I'm gonna get some shot eye and I'll see you next morning. Okay, bye, guys. Oh, guys. What is all good morning, guys? Um. Just woke up, just what, like, so that's, what's, 8am or something, I don't even know, I can't tell the time, I'm down in the coffin. It is only darkness. 
actually kind of like it down there. I'm actually kind of not looking forward to not looking forward to getting out of here. Kind of want to stay here a little bit longer. Yeah, so yeah, this video is gonna be just me staying in a coffin for like two days. So we're already so now we're starting day one. Uh, I think somebody might have. Yeah, so. Well, I do have snacks down at the bottom so that I don't starve. So yeah, I've also got these breakfast bar things. Oh my god. Oh my god, my back is killing me. Oh god, there's a stuffed cat. The stuffed cat. See the eye behind, just below my head. Yeah. So, so yeah, why the hell did they put stuffed animals in my coffin? Because there is a, there is like a little shoot where they give you like food, like where they give me food from above. Hopefully they don't put anything nasty down there. Because if they do put anything nasty down there, like what, uh, what do you call it? Um, fox, fox shit or stuff like that. Probably never gonna, probably never gonna be buried in coffins again. But if they shove, if they shove fox shit down the, down into my coffin, I'm gonna be mega pissed off. Wait, what's that sound? You guys hear that? Sounds like. It sounds like someone's. It's like someone's peeing on my. Like someone's peeing above me. Oh my god. Stop! I'm afraid it's gonna seep down into my coffin. Yeah, so. Yeah, pretty annoying. I'm gonna really have to pee. Uh, don't worry, I'll just pee in a bottle, guys. Alright, that's much for that film. Okay, it feels much better now. Oh. Uh, it's not really much for me to move. It's really hard to move in here. Oh, what, oh, what did I expect? So, yeah. Not really much to do apart from just sit in a coffin. And yeah, just be bored out of the bored out of my mind. Yeah. <sighs> and whether I'm recording this on my phone so I can't play any games or anything, so yeah. Sucks, but I can do some stuff like I don't know. Pee in bottles <laughs> and eat snacks and talk. Yeah, this is gonna be a really, really. I'm actually kind of despise this video because I'm actually starting to get a little bit claustrophobic. Oh, oh my back! Ow! I just moved. I just moved, and my back was killing me. Oh my god! No, I don't want a stuffed animal on the way. Stupid! Stupid! Why did they put Pikachu down here? I mean, anyway, it's um, a little bit awkward, but I'll take it. I could use a, I could use a Pika. All right. <laughs> this is so stupid. Why did I sign up for this? Why did I sign up for this? Dude, this sucks. Why? This is probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. Yeah, so we'll just be talking like in the. In, honestly, what what are they? Are they playing music through the through the uh, the food shoot? 
They're, play they're playing something. They're playing something through the, the food chute. That's kind of weird. I can hear it. I can hear it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I've got the boys up the boys up there with the ventilation thing. This is kind of a oh god, I just jolted the camera there, sorry. Yeah, getting a bit claustrophobic, so yeah. No, I don't even know what I'm gonna do to be honest. Okay, so it's been a couple hours now and nothing really changed apart from I think I feel like the ground trembling in my, like, down in my coffin. It's kind of, kind of scary. I can hear, hear some, what is the, like, muskrats digging or something. I don't even know. But yeah. Okay, so let me just check the time. Oh jeez, it's 11.43pm. I thought I'd get some shut eye. Alright, see you next morning, boys. Bye. Oh, good morning, guys. Today's the last day of me being in the coffin. Today's Sunday, it is 7am. God. Oh my god, I, st I stink as well. I haven't, like, I've been seeing in this cramped coffin for like three days. I mean, two days, what's it? Two or three days, I don't know. Three days, I think. And yeah, it's really, really stinking down here. Even though you have the ventilation system, it still stinks. I got three minutes left. <laughs> Bring tears to my eyes. I'm so happy to leave this coffin, dude. Oh, I'm just gonna make you think I'm copying Mr. Beast. I actually kind of this was actually inspired by Mr. Beast's video. This was actually inspired by him. So yeah. I mean, overall, it's fun. It's actually kind of cool sitting in a coffin like this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my. Oh my god, I can actually feel it. Oh my god, I can actually feel them digging. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're actually digging me up. Right, when they actually reach me, I'll... Yo, boys. Right, I'm out of the coffin. I'm still kind of sitting in it right now. As you can see, it's a very bright, bright day. It's like, what, 12 p.m.? And yeah, just chilling. So yeah, yeah. So they finally dug me up. Oh my god! I don't really understand why there's no like thing like to congratulate me or anything, but it's really pissing me off. So yeah, bye, like.